Greetings everyone and welcome back. Here's something super fun and informative. The room air quality meter project that turns room air quality data into vibrant visual experience. This device, which is powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico W and the SGP40 gas sensor, does more than just monitor the air. It visualizes the environment using the Conway's Game of Life on two RGB LED panels. It's designed to constantly track the total volatile organic compound and convert the measurements into dynamic simulations. The display provides immediate clear feedback as air quality varies by changing its color from soothing green to a warning yellow to a bright red. The experience is made more interesting and informative by availability of the TVOC data via a simple web app which is made possible by the Pico W's onboard Wi-Fi chip. For the detailed build assembly of this project, code and other details, check out this project page for more details. The link is in the video description. Here's a quick recap of how this project got started. In order to monitor the AQI levels in my locale, I made a very basic version of an air quality meter that uses an MQ-135 gas sensor to monitor air data such as detection of smoke, CO2, nitrogen oxide, ammonia, etc. in the atmosphere. The data is then displayed on the SSD1306 OLED display. This setup worked, but it only showed the amount of harmful gases suspended in our environment, not the actual AQI readings. I have made a whole video about this project and you can check out it on my channel. To begin the project, we created a 3D model, utilizing the same two matrix panel arrangement used in our previous Snake Game Console Max project. In that project, we created two frame-like parts that connect these two matrix panels to form a single very long panel by attaching them together side by side. We have modeled a small driver board on the back side of the matrix which is fastened to the mounting holes on one of the frames supporting the two displays. A separate battery board with an SMD lithium cell holder was also added. Our objective was to wall mount the setup vertically. So we modeled two frame-like parts. This top frame part will be used to hang the setup on a wall using a nail. And the bottom frame part houses the SGP40 probe. We have also added a circular opening where the PG7 connector can be fastened. Following the model's completion, we use our Creality K10 Ender Max 3D printer and printed the top and bottom frames with orange PLA, while the matrix holder part was reused from our previous Snake Game Console Max project. There are two main sections in this schematic, the power section which include the IP5306 power management circuit, which is a very useful circuit that I always use in my projects when 5V power is needed. It is dependable, simple to assemble, require a few components and has good efficiency, have low cut and high cut feature, even has LED fuel indicator and provides stable 5 volt 2 amps for driving any 5 volt device. The matrix will be powered by our beloved Raspberry Pi Pico W, which is coupled to a hub 75 connector in the second section. We connected the matrix hub 75 pins to the Pico's GPIO pins in the following order. Additionally, we created a board that will house the SMD lithium ion cell using a 18650 holder. We constructed both PCBs using the dimensions from the CAD model, placing the components in their proper location by following the specified dimension in the CAD file. We placed two orders for this project, one for the battery board and another one for the driver board. A blue solder mask with white cell screen PCB was ordered for the battery board and a white solder mask with black cell screen was ordered for the driver board. After placing the order, the PCBs were received within a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. Over the past 10 years, PCB Way has distinguished themselves by providing outstanding PCB manufacturing and assembly services, becoming a trusted partner for countless engineers and designers worldwide. Their commitment to quality and customer satisfaction has been unwavering, leading to significant growth and expansion. You guys can check out PCBWay if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. The result of this straightforward but incredibly useful build is the Room Air Quality Monitor, 
a device that uses Conway's game of life in a clever way to offer real-time TVOC readings. When air quality is great, simulation runs green. When the air quality is low and poor, the simulation becomes yellow and then red. After mounting the air quality monitor on a wall, we ignite it and incense. A mixture of chemical and particles, including volatile compounds like benzene, particulate debris like ash, and even carbon monoxide is released in air when the incense burn. VOC lingers and amass in the absence of airflow, leading the sensor to record higher readings. The game of life simulation changed from green to yellow and then later red as a result. Our device was able to capture the deteriorating air quality perfectly. This demonstration shows how our air quality monitor is useful environmental monitor that responds to actual change in the environment. Now let's examine the project's web app, which functions as a sleek and responsive dashboard for monitoring the VOC levels in real time. It displays the data in an aesthetically appealing way and is hosted directly on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. The interface shows the current VOC index and we added a gradient background and centered layout. The readings are highlighted by a bordered card style design that makes them easy to accessible on both desktop and mobile devices. After Pico has been connected to our local network, we can access the web app using the IP address we obtain from the code upload process. This project successfully demonstrated the fusion of environmental sensing with dynamic visual feedback, transforming the abstract air quality data into an intuitive and engaging display. By integrating the SGP40 VOC sensor with dual panel RGB matrix and a web app dashboard, the system offers real time insight into the indoor air quality condition, making invisible pollutants visibly impactful. The use of Conway Game of Life as a visual metaphor adds a layer of depth. As the air quality deteriorates, the simulation shifts in color, subsequently reminding users of delicate balance between life and environment. Real-world tests, such as burning incense in a closed room, validates the system's sensitivity. Now, this project is finished and requires no further revision. All the project related information has been included in the project page. Comment if you need any additional information about this project and you can check out my previously created air quality meter project from this following link. In addition, we appreciate PCBWay support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly services as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.